to today's video. Today I am so excited to be filming this for you guys because one, this is sponsored by one of my absolute favourite brands and two, you guys have been asking for this video so much and it's finally here and I'm so happy about it. So today's video is sponsored by Nice and Easy and obviously I have their products to show you guys. So if you didn't know, I am naturally blonde, obviously not right now, and I have been dyeing my hair for about four years now since I was about 13 years old and all of the products I have always used were these by Nice and Easy. You guys, if you're a long time subscriber or a dedicated subscriber or you've been here for a long time, you know all I've ever used is Nice and Easy. 4.0 Natural Darkest Brown. I recently switched to Natural Black because I wanted my hair a little bit darker. But you can literally go through old Q&As from two years ago, look at old live streams of me dyeing my hair, and I've always used Nice and Easy products, so it's incredible working with them today. So today I'm going to be telling you how I dyed my hair, how I went from blonde to black, and honestly it wasn't that hard with these products because they work wonders. So without further ado, let's just get on into the video. So I started dyeing my hair when I was about 13 years old. I begged my mom from probably the age of nine, like, oh, mom, please can I dye my hair dark? I really don't like it blonde. I don't think I suited blonde. I think from the ages of like zero to five, it looked cute. Like I had really curly blonde hair and then big blue eyes. And everyone would be like, oh, Kelly. That's my mom's saying. They'd be like, oh, Kelly, your daughter's so beautiful. Look at her hair, blah, blah, blah. And I used to get a lot of compliments on it when I was little, but as I got older, my skin tone started to change and I started getting like really rosy cheeks and the blonde hair just wasn't working for me. I didn't like my hair and it was such a light colour and I just wasn't a fan and I begged my mum for so long to let me dye my hair. She was like, okay, you can try a semi-permanent dye. I think I have a picture somewhere that I took in my nan's house with like an iPad in front of my face in the mirror and I've got dark hair. I dyed it brown, not this shade of brown, a lighter shade of brown. Probably like a medium-ish shade, I'd say. With Nice and Easy, I used one of their semi-permanent washout colours. I dyed it, I went to school, and everyone was like, oh my god, your hair looks so good! And everyone loved it. I loved it. I just... Oh, it made me so happy. I'd like look in the mirror and be like, oh my god, my hair. I just... I loved it. So once me and my mom had kind of committed to it, my mom saw that it didn't make my hair fall out, that it looked nice, that it still suited me. She said, okay, we'll go to a salon and we'll get it dyed. So I think I have before and after pictures of my hair before it was dyed and after it was dyed. I'll show you. We went to a salon and I really liked it. But the thing is, when you go to a salon, I feel like they never fully listen to you. Um, like, when you go to a hair salon, they always feel like they know best. And I said, I don't want any red undertones. I want cool undertones. I don't want any red undertones. And they did it with a really, really brassy undertone, which I hated because when it started fading, it went ginger. And it went like this auburny ginger, and it wasn't like a nice auburn. I love gingery auburn hair, my favourite hair colour ever. But it wasn't a nice shade. It was like a... The only way I can describe it is like iron brew. Do you guys know what that is? It really reminded me of iron brew, and I hated it, and I didn't know what to do. So I said to my mom, hey, like... Can I try a different dye? Can I try and do this a different way? Because I'm not really the biggest fan of how it's turning out by going to a salon. And my mom was like, yeah, we'll get a nice and easy hair dye. Because all my family use nice and easy dyes. We like swear by them. We, If we ever dye our hair with a box dye, it's always nice and easy. Never another brand because we know it works. So my mom said, yes, we can dye it. But you're going to have to pay for the dye. I'm not paying for it. And I was like 13 at this time, so... I had a job, but I wasn't earning like loads, so I'd save up my money and then I'd buy two boxes of this dye, but in a lighter shade, probably on the back this medium brown, and my hair was like a lightish brown for a while, and gradually I wanted it darker and darker because I feel like dark hair really suits me, I don't know why, I don't know if you guys will think the same, but I really like it dark. So my camera just dies, so sorry if anything looks weird, my hair's gone kind of flat. <laughs> So, as I was saying, my mom agreed that we could dye my hair, I'd have to buy the dye and she'd put it on for me, and I was like, okay, sweet. It was a pretty huge task because my hair went past my bum and it was super thick, like, that was probably the thickness of my hair. It's not like that now, as you can see, but I don't use heat protector and stuff like that, so it's got, like, a lot thinner. It's not thin, it's just, like, normal hair, I guess, I don't know. But my hair used to be super thick, so my mom was like, okay, I'll do it but once a month and you can do your roots. <laughs> and I was like, okay, fair enough. So 
So put the dye on, nice and easy dye. If I can remember what shade it was, I'll let you guys know, I'll write it in the description. But I did that, washed it off, and I felt like a whole new person. <laughs> there were no red undertones, it was just cool undertones, and it looked so natural, and I just loved it, and it looked perfect, and it just suited me so well, and I was so, so happy with it. And from then on, I just always use nice and easy dye. So I did want highlights put in my hair a few years ago, but I just like couldn't do it myself and I was kind of scared to do it myself and then recently I went to the hairdressers and I do have some highlights highlights on brunettes look completely different to highlights on blondes so you won't be able to see them like this but if you look close at my hair you can see the different tones and that it's not flat and that's what I love about Nice and Easy as well it doesn't have just one flat base tone there are how many shades in this? It has three salon tones and it shows you those on the box. There's like a grey one, a dark brown one, and then like a taupey shade. And this has a um, conditioner in there as well. It comes with a conditioner so my hair feels super soft. I love how my hair feels when I've just dyed it. It feels so nice. And then recently I've started using this which is the Nice and Easy Color Enhancer. You can get these in all different shades and I'll leave a link to both of these products in the description and like the Nice and Easy website and stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, that's really cool. If you want to test out a color on your hair, you can use this. If you want to add some more tones to your hair, you can use this. As you can see, my hair isn't just one flat color. Well, I hope you can see anyway, but like, my hair isn't just like, one shade. Like, I'm pretty sure you can see that. Let's put it on the light side. Can you see that? There are multiple tones in there, which is super cool, and that is down to this and getting a few highlights put in and my local hairdressers, and the fact that these have so many different tones in, like, this has different tones in, this has different tones in, and it's just like, resulted in this. So if you're wondering how I actually dye my hair, like do my roots and stuff like that, I will show you guys in a second. I actually filmed that earlier, that's why my hair is all fresh. I filmed that before filming this because I've been letting my roots grow out so I can show you how I do it. So yeah, if you want to watch that then just carry on watching. Here it is. So I'm just going to start out with dyeing my roots because that's what I always do first. The instructions are here but I already know how to do it. So I'll just run you guys through. I've dyed my hair so many times, obviously I already know. So I'm just going to take the lid off the colour activating cream and then just pour the um, like colour itself in. And then you just pop the lid back on and then you shake it up until it changes colour for a good few minutes. So what I usually do is I section my hair in half. I tie off one side with just a normal hairband. I've got a plaster on my finger so it's making it so awkward to do any. Section one half off and now I'm going to pop the gloves on because trust me you do not want black hair dye all over your fingers. Literally all you do whoops, is you make a straight line down the part and then rub it in. I usually do circular motions. I feel like that works pretty well. And I like to really cover it because I don't want any pieces left. And this is so easy, you can literally do it on your own. I mean, I'm doing it on my own. And I'm at home, so nobody's gonna come in and do it for me, you know what I mean? rest of that to go in random lines down the back of my head just in case I missed anywhere and random lines down the front of my head just in case I missed anywhere so this is what I use sometimes to kind of touch up my color and give it more of a boost and just kind of rejuvenate it I guess this is the nice and easy color enhancer it's not permanent and it just kind of gives your hair a bit of a like oomph you know what I mean this is just going to add a few more tones to my hair and I'm really excited to use it so let's have a look. It washes but it just kind of gives you that like oomph and that extra bit to coloured hair. Because I'm a blonde things do tend to fade on my hair. As you can see at the bottom of my hair that's been on there for well literally four years because I don't really cut my hair. So that's been on there for about four years and as you can see it hasn't faded at all. 
which I really, that's why I love this hair dye, it just doesn't fade. But if I'm going to an event and I want my hair to look a little bit like, you know, a little bit better, a little bit cuter, then I'll go with this. So let's just shake it up and get started. There's only one bottle with this, so you just shake it and throw it straight on. This comes out like solid black. Don't be alarmed, it is dark brown. So I'm just gonna rub that into the gloves because I just wanna check it was open. And now I'm going to split my hair down the middle again, like so, and start applying it to the lengths. So I'm gonna go like one section at a time. I'm gonna split my hair into like three parts down each side. So I just kind of lay that down the lengths of my hair, like so, and then rub that in. So nice and easy dyes don't make my hair feel brittle or like hay or like straw. A lot of you guys always message me like, hey Beth, how do you get your hair looking so good and silky and smooth and how do you grow it out so long when you dye it? And the answer is just use a good quality hair dye. Dyeing your hair can really, really mess it up. It can really, really cause bad effects to your hair. Nice and Easy has never done that. It's never caused breakage for me. And it's never made my hair feel <coughs> weak or, you know, like it's about to fall out. So that's obviously really important in a dye. You want to use something that you trust. Whenever I use this, I do try and focus on the ends a lot more because obviously that is the most grown out piece of hair. This is the oldest dye on my head. So I leave this for 20 minutes to 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave it for 20 minutes because my hair's already dark. So I'm just gonna have one final rub through the roots, like so, and then I'm gonna grab my hair. Really cute, I know, the most attractive look you can go for. I'm gonna twist it round and pop that in like a little bun so the color can really sit and then i'm going to pop this on okay that is pretty much everything on how i dye my hair what i use to dye my hair i don't use anything else i never have <laughs> um these are the only products that I use and I love them and I swear by them. And whenever you guys ask me what hair dye I should use, I always say these products because I know that they work and I know that your hair's not gonna be ruined. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned this earlier, but it's cruelty free, there's no ammonia, it's really mild on your hair. You can get some really, really harsh hair dyes and these are not harsh at all. They are really, really mild, which I love. And yeah, I just... I'm so grateful to be working nice and easy on this video because I've loved them and used their products for so so long and it's just so exciting to work with one of my favourite brands ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, share it, like it, tell your friends if they want to dye their hair. And if you're interested in any of the products that I showed, they'll be linked in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will get back to you guys. But yeah, that is all for now and I will see you super soon with a brand new video. Bye guys, I love you. Mwah.